Hey guys, my name is Elsa Sotiriadis, and I thank you for not having rushed out the emergency exit in the meantime. I'm from the International School of Engineering and Biotechnology in France and the University of Basel, Switzerland. I have to confess, last night I had a nightmare. I was standing here. And in reality, it's even more scary because there's something that tells me that there's a significantly increased relative abundance of nerds in the audience who know that string theory has nothing to do with Venice Beach and Schrodinger's cat can't be found in San Diego Zoo. But well, <laughs> that's part of the fun and it's also very exciting to be here. So orchestrating genetic circuits, that is my vision. But first, let me tell you that since um, my participation in iGEM, I got asked a lot about what synthetic biology is, um, because it's quite complex. And there was a male friend of me asking me for some pictures of our supermodels. And I told him, <laughs> well, Michael, um, you might be slightly disappointed because our supermodels are in a slightly different format. They are not size zero, they are 100 million megabytes. And uh, when we say in silico model, we don't refer to plastic surgery. But a really cool thing about our emerging and exciting field is that we don't need Rolex to feel great, right? Because we have Vortex, which is way cooler. And we don't need Armani or Dolce Gabbana because we can make our own designer jeans. <laughs> so, guys, that's just a present. Now there's a future, or my vision of it. I truly believe, and I do hope, that what restriction enzymes are today, uh, synthetic and semi-synthetic gene regulatory operators, will be tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, but sometime soon. Because I think in order to successfully tackle uh, current and future challenges in all kinds of engineering, metabolic, biomedical, environmental engineering, we need a highly powerful and well-characterized open source, of course, toolbox with uh, genetic circuits like uh, composed of logical gates. So when we close our eyes and we imagine the cell, there's the genome acting like the conductor of a huge complex orchestra and it assembles all the distinct instruments and tells them uh, where, where to play, when to play, which notes, uh, which song to sing, uh, to, um, yeah, which pitch and so on. So in engineering, me, we might want to take control of the cellular pathways. So as an example, a gene transcriptional control module could be composed of a uh, ribosome binding site, then the encoding region for the transcription suppressor, and a terminator signal, a stop sequence. And it is my vision that we will, we will have all kinds of buttons, like a stop button, that we can just delete or leave out a pathway that is maybe competing with another pathway we want to elucidate or use in um, uh, production. So I'm going to close with an old guy you maybe know. He's very old, Chinese, wise. His name is Confucius. And uh, we heard a lot of inspiring visions tonight in the first synthetic biology slam in the world. And inspiration, ambition, vision, and maybe also funds are a major driving force. So Confucius said, when you breathe, you inspire. And when you don't inspire, you expire. Thank you. Okay.